Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how I build websites for my clients and how I'm able to charge dozens of thousands of dollars for my web design work. So check this out. Here is a website that I've built for one of my recent clients, which is a company from Germany. And as you can see, it's a totally custom website. So here is the website before and after. So as you can see before, it was a big mess. And now we have a professionally designed business website. So in this video, we're going to talk about things like updating the identity then writing messaging, then creating wireframes, then designing the website itself and then preparing it for launch. So first of all, what do you need in order to build a $10,000 plus website? So I use Webflow for web design and web development. But before that, I use Reloom to create wireframes. But the first step is to actually run a storytelling workshop. So for that, I use my storytelling framework. So I have a Zoom with my client during which I'm able to capture the ideas and then based on that, I write messaging for the website, the actual headlines, paragraphs, bullet points, and so on. So again, we go from storytelling to wireframing using Reloom to designing using Webflow. So if you wanna charge premium prices for your web design work, of course, you have to have good design skills. You must be a good designer but you also need to have an established process. You need to have an efficient way of working with your clients. So in this video, I will show you how to do just that. So updating the identity, because if your client comes to you for a new website, you will most likely need to update the brand identity as well. As you can see, it's a small change, but it makes a big difference. So we retain the original mark from the old logo, but we improved it. We improved the shape, the colors. We have this iconic gradient and we have a bolder typeface and less spaced out. So it makes a stronger, it makes a bigger impact as a whole. Now, if you wanna learn more about my log design process, just check out my article. But basically, this is a new brand identity. As you can see, we are using this gradient consistently throughout different applications together with the custom font and so on. So at the end of the day, all you need to have is a style guide because you will need the logo files you will need some colors and you will need some fonts and maybe some custom graphics like custom icons and so on. But with that, we can start writing messaging. So again, I run my storytelling workshop with my client using Zoom. It takes two hours and then based on that, we capture some ideas and then I combine it with my own research and I supplement some information from other internal presentations from the old website and so on. And based on that, I am able to write the actual copy and I use Quip for that. So again, this is an overview of, this is a six step framework and you just go through those exercises and that way you are able to capture those ideas and organize them in a way that later on you can use for your web design. So basically just remember that Story is like a filter and helps you create simple and relevant messages. And you can learn more about that on my blog. So just find us on ebigdesign.com. But at the end of the day, all we need to do is run a Zoom session with our client and capture those ideas and then create a Word doc, a Quip document with the actual messaging for the new website. And with that, we can start creating wireframes. So again, we look at our Word or Quip document with our copy. And then we go to Reloom library and we find the right sections that we need and we just copy paste them to Webflow and fill it out with our content. So let me show you how it works. So basically just go there, find the right section. For example, I want this, I copy this, I paste it over in Webflow and then I go and take my content from my Quip document. I paste in the headline and I paste in the paragraph and I do the same with the rest. So here is an example of a homepage structure. So obviously you need some kind of a header with the logo, with the menu, some call to action. Then you can have like a stakes or a value section with your stakes, with your pro problems listed, the problems your customers face and the brand solves for them or the product solves for them. Or you can go the opposite way. You can go positive here. You can talk about your value proposition and, and just list these benefits and uh, what you do for your customers, right? So I've done both for this client. Then you can have a section, the guide, which you know talks more about the to features and benefits and, and the product or service. And then you have an explanation paragraph and this is good for SEO. You can tell your brand story here. And then you have a plan section, which is basically like a three-step plan to take an action. 
So in this case, we have a book a demo, get a quote, and enjoy data clarity. And of course, we're gonna have to have some testimonials, some kind of a proof that we can deliver. We can have logos of companies we worked with. And then we have a footer with the logo repeated again, maybe other social media icons and all those links. And what I like to do is have a tagline there with a call to action. And again, you can learn more about that on my blog because I break it down step by step. But with that, we can start designing websites. So once you have your wireframe ready with the actual content and this is approved by your client, then all you need to do is just apply this star guide onto that unstyled wireframe and that's how you get your website designed. So you basically translate that star guide to a uh, star guide on Webflow. So you change the font globally, you add some color swatches and stuff like that. And this is how you magically go from unstyled wireframe to a custom website. And again, if you want me to show you step by step how to do that, just leave a comment below. Now delivering the website, before you actually deliver the website to your client, you can do a few more things like animate elements on scroll. You can add some custom JavaScript. You can do on-page SEO. You have to actually do that. You can add some language versions. We have to minify CSS and JavaScript. And of course you need to add a custom domain, right? So let me show you an example. I animated this timeline section, for example. I actually animated the whole website. Here is a custom JavaScript that is responsible for this moving gradient in the background. As you can see here, I've done some on-page SEO, just setting the titles and meta descriptions and stuff like that. And we have a German language version. And for that, I use Wiglot, which is a widget, and it automatically translates the whole website. And then we have to check off all these things here and add a custom domain. Some conclusions. So if you follow my process, if you go from storytelling to wireframing to designing and not from designing with some lorem ipsum back to storytelling and tripping over wireframing, if you do this, then designing a website is just like a walk in the park. So I guarantee that you will be a successful web designer if you just follow my process and develop some good design skills. Now, if you want to learn more, just check out my storytelling guide. You can find a link in the description but I will guarantee you that you will be able to knock your projects out of the park. Now, if you're a business owner yourself who wants a custom website, just schedule a call with me and let's discuss your project. Now, that's it for today. If you like this video, then give it a like and follow me on social media for more tips on branding, strategy and design. It was Arik Dvorniczak from eBay Design. Now, we'll see you in the next one.